Now we're going to talk about joining threads. Sashko was about being careful with materials, extending the life of old garments, and they had a thrifty approach to the thread as well. Rather than wasting thread by tying a knot to finish, then tying another knot to start the new thread, they would use one knot to join both threads midway through the work. This joining knot is widely used in weaving for joining threads on a loom and it's got lots of applications um, in guides or scouts or if you've done any sailing you'd know it as a sheet bend. However, the Sashko method for tying the knot is, is I think quite unique. So here I am going to choose two different threads to demonstrate and um, I'm just using a single thread to show. The gold thread is the old thread and uh, I've just come to the end there. You can see the needle is, um, you know, I can't get the needle far enough away to get another stitch in. And uh, my pink thread is the new thread. So to start with, I am going to cut the thread, whoops, at about, um, in this case, about an inch and a half. Uh, as you do this and get more proficient, you'll be able to work with shorter ends of threads. So my new thread is um, is pink, it's already uh, on the needle, actually all ready to go and I've calmed it down and everything like that. So we're going to use this new thread and attach it to the old thread. And we want to go and get the knot right as close to the point where the thread comes out of the, of the material. So we're going to need to be fairly precise and tight about how we tie this knot. Okay, so um, I've got the thread in my hand. Let me just show you there. I've got the work in my hand and I've got it so I can get my thumb just on top of the thread there. Okay, so I take the new thread and I lift the old thread up and lay the new thread alongside where it comes out and then put the old thread over the top. So it goes over the top and I put my thumb right on that joint so that neither thread can move. Okay. I loop the new thread around and underneath its tail. So we've got a little tail sticking out there of the new thread and I looped it around and underneath and I'm bringing it back over the top of the old thread and if I move my thumb there you can see that the um, the tail goes under the old thread but the the rest of the pink goes over the top and what I'm going to do then is I'm going to just make sure that's all tight close to where it comes out of the material put my thumb back over it and then I'm going to pull in this in the loop a little bit. Sometimes it's quite useful to just bring your little finger, uh, your index finger over, and trap that tail, so that as you pull in the loop, uh, you don't pull the tail out of the way. Okay, so that's looking good there. And my next job is to take this old gold thread and put it through the loop. Put it through the loop. Okay. Now, as I tighten up the, um, the pink thread, make the loop smaller, you can see I'm trapping the gold thread and actually what I should do is I should trap it completely there and pull the pink thread really tight. Now, probably at that point you can see that it looks like, looks like a sheet bend. But we're going to make that really tight now. So I'm going to pull in the, um, the gold and just make that a really tight little knot. Uh, and there you are, that's the knot. So I then trim 
the spare ends really close to the knot. I pulled it so tight that it's not going to come undone. So I can carry on and when I thread this into the next hole. Now I'll just sew a few more stitches with the new thread. Pull it through with my thumb on the knot and we have a neat knot on the back and a good line of stitches on the front. Now I'm going to repeat that demonstration with a double thread on the needle. The process is just the same. First we cut the needle off leaving about an inch and a half of the old thread and I've already prepared my next piece of thread on the needle. Let's fold the old thread back Place the tail of the new thread right in place, right next to where the old thread comes out of the fabric. And then I hold the uh, two threads together with my thumb. Just straighten those out a bit, keep them, uh, keep them neat, neat. Then bring the new thread round over my thumb, thumb to make a loop. Bring it under its tail and there you can see the, the layout. Bring my uh, index finger over to hold the tail down and I can tighten up the loop then. Gently draw it in. You can see the pink thread under the gold thread then looped around and under the tail back over the gold thread. I'm going to bring the gold thread over and poke it through under the, the loop and then I pin them down again with my thumb and pull the loop in. Pinch it really down close to the uh, end of the stitches, right close to the fabric. And then I pull the gold and the pink really tight. I want it as tight as I can be so it's not going to come undone. We can snip off the tails, leaving a neat little knot right close to the fabric. OK, let's just do a few more stitches and uh, get the last one in there. Turn the piece over. Pull the needle through. And then the thread. With my thumb on the knot, I ease the fabric along. Et voila! A neat little knot.